but today I thought I'd talk about video game adaptations. They're once a really dreaded genre. Uh, great games were twisted into complete Hollywood flops such as Super Mario Bros. or 1994 classic Street Fighter. I'm sorry. I don't remember any of it. You don't remember? For you, the day Bison graced your village was the most important day of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. They became infamous symbols of video game licensing in movies. This was back when Hollywood was a much bigger fish compared to gaming. So fast forward to today, and gaming adaptations are starting to hit it big. Take, uh, take the Amazon Prime series Fallout, and who could have thought really that a game originating with its dark humor and intricate RPG systems could have been adapted as great as it was. And the reason we're getting better and better adaptations, I think at least, is because now they're being made by people that actually understand and love the franchises. Because you grew up playing these games. It's no longer just uh, old Hollywood doing what they think. However, Borderlands is not one of these adaptations. I knew this thing would be a flop the second I saw the poster plastered across a bus. The Borderlands movie fails to capture really the essence of the game. Delivering a one-dimensional experience, it lacks a chaotic energy. And though you could arguably say one of the main reasons for Borderlands success as a video game is its fantastic co-op. That was never going to translate to a film. The film simpli simplifies the plot of one of the early games, stripping away the excitement of Pandora's universe and reducing it down to like a mundane rescue PG-13 kind of mission. And visually it just looks, you know, it, it looks like, it looks like that Jumanji remake, I guess because Kevin Hart's in it. Keep thinking of it like that. But they could have done it so much different, like a scanner darkly type protoscoping, and it would have at least been interesting art direction. It's just, it's just absolute lifeless performances with just big name actors, and it's totally uninspired direction. What you end up with in the end is this sterile PG 13 version of Borderlands that was just destined to sink. But Hollywood screws it up again. Let's hope this isn't the beginning of a trend so we can have more fallouts and less borderlands.